That sun is rising quick, isn't it? Yeah, it's getting warm out here already. Ooh, oh, right there, look Whoa. at that. What do you see? You see it right up underneath this cactus. I don't see anything. Look at it, looks just like a rock. Look at the sand, zoom in tight and you see oh. a dark shape. Do you I know what that it. is? Is that a lizard? That is a lizard. It looks spiky. It is spiky. Are you gonna catch it? You want me to, right? I mean, yeah, but it's not gonna hurt your hand, is it? Uh, I guess we're about to find out. Right, and on, it is on. underneath prickly pear cactus. Now, the only way I was able to see it is I saw a little bit of movement out of the corner of my eye. And this is exactly what I was hoping we'd come across today. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, oh boy, two, three. Every time I step foot into the desert, my eyes immediately begin searching for animals. And while the environment is most certainly laced with biological landmines, like plants covered in spikes, these hazards for humans oftentimes provide shelter and protection for a wide variety of creatures. Arizona's Sonoran Desert is one of my favorite places to explore. And whether I'm encountering snakes, look at that, look how long and beautiful that snake is, spiders, or scorpions, in the back of my mind, I'm always hoping to stumble upon my favorite lizard, and all it takes is being in the right place at the right time. This is exactly what I was hoping we'd come across today. All right, you ready? Yeah. One, oh boy, two, three. Ah! 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 Just kidding. <laughs> Do you know what this is? Oh yeah. This is the regal horn lizard, one of the most iconic species that you'll find here in the Sonoran Desert. And actually, this is my absolute favorite lizard in the world. And the way that these lizards actually avoid predators is I'm gonna put them down on the sand, tilt okay. your camera down here. Look at this. Look at that camouflage. You see how camouflage that lizard is? Look at that. Now when it puffs up its body and flattens itself down, the way that they'll actually hide is to partially bury themselves underneath the sand. And you see that cryptic coloration in all of the scales and the skin looks just like this rocky and sandy terrain. That's why when we walked up, you said, wow, are you really looking at something? And it does, it really looks like a rock. And the only way I was able to spot this lizard is because its head moved. And I saw a little bit of movement out of the corner of my eye and I said, oh, there it is, there's a horned lizard. Now, when I grabbed this lizard, I kind of played it up and made you guys think it was gonna be spiky and hurt my hand, but all the spines that run along the side of the body and on the back are nothing more than modified scales. The only true horns or spikes on these lizards is right on the back of the head there. These are very sharp and those are bone and they're actually connected to the skull. Now that's a defense for these lizards against predators. Let's say a snake, like a coach whip, comes into this environment and manages to catch one of these lizards, these spines would get stuck in its throat and then hopefully the lizard wouldn't become a meal. So that's not spiky at all? No, this lizard is not spiky at all. Actually, Mark, you want to reach your hand out here and feel? Listen, Go I, ahead. I almost don't believe it. Touch the lizard. Feel that. Oh, wow. It just feels like sandpaper, doesn't it? It is really, really soft. Actually, you want to know what's really soft? Pet its belly. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? That's awesome. Now, you'll notice that this lizard is kind of puffing up its body. That is another defense mechanism. What they'll do is they'll stand up on all four legs, puff up their body, and go, whoa, whoa, like that towards a predator. Now, if you were a coyote or a bobcat and you came into the environment and you saw this lizard all puffed up, covered in spikes, you'd probably think to yourself, yeah, that doesn't look like something that I want to eat. However, if puffing up the body doesn't deter a predator, this lizard is actually capable of shooting two little streams of blood right from the corner of its eyes. So Coyote, these lizards are actually significant to you. You have a story behind these. They are. Not only is this truly my favorite lizard, but this lizard is responsible for giving me the nickname Coyote. Now the way that happened is when I was a little kid, about eight years old, my mom used to bring me out here to the Sonoran Desert and I would look for these lizards. However, because of their camouflage, they're difficult to find. Now one of their main predators is the Roadrunner. So what I would do is search for Roadrunners. I would follow those Roadrunners, hoping that they would lead me to the horn lizards. My mom would watch me doing this and would say to herself, you know what you're kind of like? You're kind of like Wiley Coyote from the Warner Brothers cartoon. And then she started calling me Coyote. So this little lizard, the regal horn lizard, is responsible for giving me the nickname Coyote. How cool is that? 
Now there are many species of lizards out here in the desert. Most of them you probably would never be able to catch. This is one that's actually slow enough that you can handle it. And because it's non-venomous and they do not bite, I would actually say this is something that's safe to pick up and admire. However, you wanna be extremely gentle. You see I'm barely holding onto the lizard. They will stay totally calm in your hand. Look at that, I'm not even applying any pressure to the legs or the body. It's just sitting up on my fingers. However, if you catch one of these lizards out here in the desert, definitely make sure you release it right away. This does not make a good pet. They stress very easily in captivity and have a very selective diet. They actually only eat ants. Will not eat crickets, will not eat mealworms. If you catch a horned lizard, admire it, and then place it right back in the desert. All right, well, it's getting pretty warm out here. I'm already breaking a sweat. We better get this little lizard back up underneath its prickly paracactus. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. See you later, little guy. Catching a horned lizard is pretty simple, but do you know what lizard species is not easy to catch? The desert iguana. Make sure to go back and watch one of my most epic lizard catches ever. And don't forget, subscribe, so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Got him. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> Could you see his little head sticking up? <laughs>